This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. Good morning, my friends. I am Candace Noss, a physical therapist, a life coach, a lifelong Christian, and a mother of six. And I created my business, the Mind Body Spirit Trifecta, where I liberate, enlighten, and empower others to elevate their mind, body, and spirit and own their divine greatness. Today is Thankful Thursday. What are you feeling grateful for today? I myself love sports, and I believe that they are a huge, beautiful vehicle for teaching powerful life lessons. This is one of the many reasons I am passionate about coaching. I coach freshman girls basketball for Morgan High School, and I want to focus this Thankful Thursday message on how grateful I am for athletes who play with heart. It is so inspiring and such a great example of how I want to live my life. I've been blessed to coach a few stellar athletes that truly play with heart. They show up engaged and focused, regardless of if it's a practice, a team activity, or or a huge game. These girls take ownership for everything they do and consistently give their heartfelt all. They go for every loose ball. They hustle when the odds are stacked against them. They body up against girls three times their size. And the powerful thing is, they truly believe in themselves to make a difference on the court. Their bruises, blisters, and floor burns are hardcore evidence of their playing with heart. After coaching for a few years now, observing different athletes and their life journeys, it truly is evident that playing with heart creates not only game changers on the court, but truly world changers in life. Think back on your life for a second. What athletes have you known who truly exhibit this playing with heart mentality? As I've reflected on some of these exceptional girls who play game after game with so much heart, it has given me pause to analyze my life. How am I attacking my life? Do I play my life with heart? Do I show up for everything in my day, despite how mundane or exciting it is, with attention? with focus and enthusiasm? Am I consistently and persistently showing up in alignment, striving to make a difference everywhere I go? Am I all in, bringing hustle, ownership, and self-belief to my every endeavor? When I do something, am I truly present, making the most out of my time, putting my heartfelt all into everything? To get out of our comfortable cave and work toward the future of our dreams, we have to override our extreme survivalist lower brain by working incredibly hard, by denying immediate gratification, and by enduring the pain of growth, which most assuredly includes falls, bumps, and bruises. We have to supersede the tribal paranoia our lower brain will throw at us by resisting comparative judgment and people-pleasing by making peace with the pace and quality of our individual growth, and by believing in ourselves and our unique strengths. We will undoubtedly need to reject the discouragement, lies, and distraction the natural man will inject into every negative 50 moment along the way. We must be present, enjoying a richness that comes from being where our feet are, from living with intention and purpose. All this is embedded in playing with heart throughout the journey of our life. I can't wait to watch these athletes with huge hearts grow and develop, not only over the next four years, but also in life. Playing with heart creates incredible dividends. I'm thankful for this reminder of how I want to live my life. I'm grateful to be setting a new intention to go after not only my goals and aspirations with heart, but to do all I do in my life with heart. Like these athletes, I intend to be a game changer. Friends, let's win every day of our life by playing with heart. What does playing with heart look like for you in your life? May we all strive to magnify this one shot we have at mortality and play with heart. Remember, 
You are designed for greatness. Thank you for joining me today and for being part of my journey. I truly am grateful for you. If you'd like more from me, join my Thankful Thursday email and listen to and subscribe to my Designed for Greatness podcast. Find the links in the show notes. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.